All right, let's talk shop or how to properly get yourself set up. You're gonna need somewhere to sit and draw a place in your house. You're gonna need a drawing donkey bench um, or you can use a chair facing backwards and you can prop it up like this. You're gonna need some side tables. Uh, at the atelier, we have a bunch of just uh, folding ones that you can get cheap. You can find them at garage sales. My side table, my tabaret I designed, can fit um, your water bottle or your paper towels at the bottom. You can put your solvents and even coffee or something on the middle shelf. And on the top, I have made it to fit my painter's palette and also to put my drawing material. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of my materials in a case. Uh, some stuff I'm going to sharpen, my erasers, and things that I'll be talking more about in detail in another video. For drawing, I have my smooth newsprint uh, already clipped to a board. Some of you may already have boards like this. They're often masonite and have a handle and sometimes have an elastic along the bottom to hold your paper down and the clips are built in. At the atelier, we have uh, these drawing boards. And actually this is just sign board from my previous life painting outdoor murals. And you can use butterfly clips uh, or the ones you kind of buy at art stores. These are adjustable by sliding it down just like that. And uh, you can also get clips like this that can be used along the bottom of the board to hold the paper down. And I find these very useful as well. Worst case scenario, you don't have any of this stuff at your place, but you probably have masking tape. You can tape your paper down. And my preferred paper for drawing at first, because it's inexpensive, is smooth newsprint. It's gotta be smooth, and I am not supported by Strathmore, but right now, um, this is Luke approved, and I'm also loving the smoothness of this particular brand of paper. So if you need to order it and you can't get something like ProArt, this is what you wanna get. But if you can't get that, just use what you have. With a proper setup, we should be comfortable and be able to do this for a lot of hours. I have my garbage can near me or underneath so that I can put my pencil shavings. If you need, you can put a folded up towel or pillow to pad your butt. Either way you're facing, it should be very comfortable. You're going to look over the drawing board at your subject or have your subject clipped to the board. And I want you to bring the board on top at about 45 degrees so that you can draw on the bottom portion so that you're not down here trying to draw. Things get really distorted if you do it that way. Sit up straight, try to keep good posture. And if you have all those things in alignment, you're ready to sharpen your skills and your pencils.